I'm Ruth Dundas, Professor of Social Epidemiology at the MRC CSO Social and Public Health Sciences Unit at the University of Glasgow. Pregnancy and infancy are known to be important periods for both living a healthy life and a longer life, and Scotland has committed by law to ensuring that every child has the best start in life. Despite this, health inequalities emerge early in life and track across the life course and also from one generation to the next, producing avoidable economic and social costs. At the University of Glasgow, we use administrative data which are routinely collected in the course of services to understand where and why some children in Scotland have worse health than others and what we can do to prevent this. For example, by linking across multiple data sources and across the early years, we've shown that compared to mothers from managerial and professional occupation backgrounds, those who are long-term unemployed are two and a half times as likely to have been prescribed medication for anxiety and depression. And their children are seven times as likely to be exposed to tobacco, both in utero and in toddlerhood. When taking this individual perspective, inequalities appear larger than when looking at patterns of health by neighbourhood deprivation or at just one point in the life course. Taking this work one step further, we lead the Maternal and Child Health Network, MatchNet, and that's a community of researchers, decision makers, third sector organisations, service providers and data controllers. And what MatchNet is striving to do is make better use of data to test the impacts of policies through making comparisons across the UK countries. And this is an important approach because many of the policies which are most likely to improve child's, children's lives are upstream. For example, early years childcare provision, welfare payments and grants to pregnant women. And although these types of upstream policies can't be tested in traditional trial settings, it's really important to evaluate the policies as these evaluations can support effective decision-making and direction of resources. Currently, there are few evaluations of this sort because these types of evaluations can be hard to plan and carry out due to challenges around comparison groups, that is finding comparable people who are not subject to the policy. Data, which needs to measure both exposure and outcome for both comparison groups, and methods, so ideally making our comparison groups as comparable as possible. And MatchNet is striving to overcome these difficulties by mapping out the data, collating the methods, and working with policymakers and practitioners to identify and understand the policies most in need of evaluating. So just to summarise, when new policies are being proposed, there should be an outcome evaluation using a suitable comparison group to assess the impact on maternal and child health. Administrative data sets offer the most potential for undertaking such evaluations, including linking data sets across different sectors which can identify good comparison groups. So MSPs and policymakers can support this use of routine data to evaluate upstream po population level policies.